look guys it did snow overnight so not too much but there it is guys now i have to head to work but we'll see what's gonna happen today guys okay guys uh today we might be working on the cord like i said guys might be taking some of the stuff off uh i feel like taking the axles out but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be doing that but probably it is a little muddy guys as you can see there was snow but uh we might either do that probably throw the wiring one of those two but if now i just start disconnecting stuff but we'll find out guys connecting some lines as you can see that they are pushed a little farther back the lines are coming out pretty good but I wasn't sure if I should just drop the engine through the bottom, make it easier, or lift it through the top because I don't got a cherry picker. But we'll find out. I still got to take out the axles, guys. But half of the wire is coming out, guys. So let's check it out, guys. Okay, guys. I'm jacking the car up. I did just have a little bit of trouble taking the, the other wheel off because when I got my new tires, I guess they tightened. The lug nuts so freaking tight, so I had to ask my uncle to take those off because those were a pain. Even he kind of struggled, but we got them off, guys. So we're gonna jack the car up, guys, and uh, take the wheels off. See if we could take the axles today. But as you can see, it is kind of muddy. So I'm gonna see if I can put them on. If not, I'll wait till tomorrow, take them off, see what happens, guys. But for now, we are gonna be taking the wheels, put it on jack stands, see what happens, guys. Okay, guys did just pick up the car now I I am gonna have to go to the store and get a tool for this or ask my bro if I could borrow his but right now we are gonna be discon disconnecting the brake lines so for now we're gonna be doing the ones I got a tool for and hopefully we could take this axle out and disconnect the clutch line and take out the engine guys but progress guys so let's see what happens guys okay guys did just disconnect those still need to disconnect the bottom i need to disconnect the fork like i said i still need to get that tool take that out and hopefully the whole thing come out and take out the cv axle guys so let's get to it guys Okay guys, I didn't have the 17 for my impact and now I would have gotten the bottom fork off but since I don't have that tool and I don't have that one tool to take that off guys I'm not going to be able to do that today guys Sorry for that guys, but uh, this is going to be coming out guys so stay tuned guys but For now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and respect all builds guys. Thanks for watching